Hello, we're live. And we were just about to get started. Oh, I know where this dice now came from. With I found your dice. A battle. Hey, sorry what that was. You just had it for like... Well, like, I found it on the floor a while ago, and then I was just kind of playing with it, and then it was just like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a battle has oh, not uh, initiated yet. <laughs> I believe the battle has initiated. Did it? No, it actually well, When did that did. happen? As the knight begins walking into the tunnel, carrying the crate. Can I sneak closer? Obadiah. What do you do as they try and walk past you and there is no room for them to get by? Do you stand your ground like a man? Oh wait, sorry, his famous name. Wait. Portal Stone. Could I yell? You have a battle? portal stone. <laughs> I don't have a portal stone. But I do have the ability to portal a short distance. Dimension door. <laughs> Let's start with I would like to burn a spell component and use my boots of portaling to get exactly right next to the wizard. All right, I will do will roll initiative, and since you have the stealth, I will allow you to roll twice and take the highest. Okay. Initiative's resolve. Yeah. Yes. I love having a four resolve. It's great, isn't it? All right. Makes so... me never want to play a class without at least six in all blue skills. <laughs> you can roll one all the time uh -huh. and a four and a blue skill. That's where at least the human's good at. He it at least. Oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Alright, what do we got? Five with Obadiah, Clustus, five, four with Dayon, and one with Piff. We will start with Obadiah. So I um, use one component to portal stone right behind the dude. Alright. <coughs> and I'm can he counterspell this? Um, it's a mage item. I don't think it's a poor, I don't think it's a spell. So I don't know. Can they counter spell? Mage I mean, items? you can counter spell Boros Stone. What's that? Wait, you can counter spell Boros Stone. This is a magical yeah, item, not a magical item. Consumable. So I don't think he can oh. counter spell. I just wanted to double okay. check. Not really. Way more bro all in there. So. And then I want to shoot him in the back with a deadly poison dart. <laughs> all right, he can turn and face you. Maybe one square away would be smart. Wait, um, he, he, you're, you're missing wool. Never mind. I mean, we'll try it, I think, anyway. He wasn't thinking. All right. He turned it face him. Deadly poison shot. Come on, my man. Seven. That's not bad. Oh, four. Not That's bad. Cool. That is freaking awesome. I'm going to do some damage. Hits. So I have six fuel this fight. Three damage and the effects of deadly poison. Three damage and the effects Instant of injury. deadly poison. Instant injury. And perma exposed. And permanent exposed. Ooh. If I remember right, for us, that's what it is? Yep. Yep. Ooh. And he pretty much did some mass cold out with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to have a good day. <laughs> Someone's about to get hit by a can. All right. Next, Clustis. Uh, okay. Um, oh. my um, enchantments I have up, because I'm holding a focus, is Shimmer and All Clarity. Shimmer, All Clarity. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to start going up the tunnel. All right. As you start All charging up the tunnel, four squares, you get about halfway. They Plus. drop oh. their crate, draw steel, shields up. Okay. Uh, can, can I still do... Ooh. I really want it. I'm going to use my uh, lucky cast holy eventual. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Alright. Day on. Wait. This will be interesting. How far away? You're far away. I mean, I can get there really quick. But... Okay, so I don't need to worry about you then. No. Okay. Well, well, I mean, if you can make me charge, that'd like be really you know. nice, actually. Or I can just make you move for free. Yeah, right? make me move for free. I mean, that's pretty good. But I was also thinking about maybe using yeah, it so I don't have one opening to myself. I'd like to shoot somebody. I don't know. 
What are you doing? I'll get in combat if you use it on me, I think, in one turn. You think it might take two if you take all of it? Yeah, I mean, I roll a d20 for movement. If I roll low, I don't get there. If I roll high, I get there. Uh, yeah. Right. So you're like your brawl. You can move for free. Is, yeah. What, 10? Yeah. So that's 4, 6, 8, 10. So also, the last thing is you ignore opportunity okay. to pass. And then uh, I roll 6 players then. Then you roll a dice 20 to hit. Okay. okay. Chad, can you move yeah. me 6 squares closer to the fight? Fight like 4 more. Uh. Hold on, I need to turn it. Wait, I gave he ordered him to. Oh. Nice, that's a yeah, lot of guess you. 7. I mean, you might not even end up getting hit, so... Do I have a shot here? At yeah, him? I'd say yeah. You probably have one, like, here if you want to stay farther away. Yeah, I'll do that then. Either way, I will shoot him with my cannon with the opening. And he has an opening, so be 20. Yeah. So let's see how this goes. Here's the hit. 12 to hit. And that right. brings me from D12 to D14 yeah. for damage. All also, right. I'm using a blasting charge at the same time <laughs> for impact damage. I could ignore 12, 12 damage. Use that plus. Nice. Boom. Oh. Oh, he's sure an he's elf. Dead. How would you want to kill him? <laughs> Do I just stand over here and go, Tally Ho? Did you just, just explode the poison, dude? Yes. <laughs> With the uh, opening. <laughs> I just yelled, Tally Ho for my friends. And just kind of cannon goes off as I kind of like hold it up and just boom. <laughs> just kind of watch him just go to pieces. <laughs> for the umpire. Yeah, for the umpire. <laughs> Do I see the red gem flying about somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Head explodes. His body collapses, falls to the ground. Gem hits the ground, rolls. As it hits the ground and rolls, the the pink. Illuminated, soft glowing light Uh-oh. shuts off. Oh, uh, you geez. better get to that quick. Uh-oh. Maybe that was a bad idea. You may have just killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, I did kill somebody. I might kill two somebody. Yes. Two well, somebody. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Three somebodies. <because laughs> wait, sorry. Are down here too. Two birds, one cannonball. There you go. All right. Um, it is going to have a fair turn. So. Uh, the first one is going to make a shot. Directly like at you. That, though, like to see like, something just explode in a million. Ten to hit. Shimmer. Fifteen to dodge. Dang it. Somehow I feel like the elf is supposed to be harder to kill. <laughs> Alright, this guy rushes forward, engages Clestis point blank range. Oh boy, I don't have my shield. I just realized that. You don't have a shield. I have a damage shield. Yeah. It wouldn't have done much good anyways. Alright. Oh. Block it with your face. That's the plan. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He is going to start with a shield hit for an opening. To see you get an attack of opportunity. The attack of opportunity? This is attacking with a shield. Um. Rogue's attack of opportunity if you're not a purple one. Oh, uh, he does get a free shield okay. attack. Um, on a charge with his knight skill. 12 to hit. Can you stop it? Maybe you can, you, because you've got your righteous fury. You roll a d20 for everything or what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, weapons go falling, so. Holy. What? Holy Avenger. Holy Avenger. 20. Oh. You burned a relic, so. Does that Shield <laughs> comes down, you just one handed mace parry. <laughs> <laughs> now you're like, and, and I just have one hand free, just dangling. <laughs> 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 one on right your side, just no. <laughs> like, like not even like in a tub where you just like non like Sword strike eleven to hit. Oh. Fuck. Oof. So, so that one got the kind of advanced parry. Yeah. Yeah, the shield. <laughs> Four damage. Four damage. You can block that oh, with yeah. your armor. What? What do I roll for armor again? D eight. 
Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Four. Nice. All right. Uh, the next one is going to turn and rush towards the L. Or toward yeah. the L. This guy's dead. The alchemist? He's just a blood pile on the ground. It's <laughs> not even anything really to recognize. Close casket funeral. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is all just liquid in a bag. This is all we can ah, find of Be gentle! <laughs> <laughs> I should have I just challenged. Alright, here we go. First attack. This one. I don't think you have to worry about Scott. Oh yeah. <laughs> Scott is the tankiest party member. I, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> he used to be the least tankiest. But Alright, fifteen. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to armor that one. Well you can get you can shimmer for free. Oh, it's only based time, right? Yeah. Okay. That's unfortunate. So it hits. Oh. Alright, yeah. Um, that's a shield bash. It is going to be four impact damage. Ooh, impact damage. Hmm. Exciting. Um, crap, there's a knockout chance with this. Well, I see armor all of it, then there's no knockout chance. You roll twice. armor twice. Uh, and then you, you roll armor twice, and yeah. two since, you're rolling a dice one, since you're rolling a dice 20, you're probably going to get a bone four both times. 17. Yeah. 17 was your lower roll? Yep. After <laughs> you both of them with 17. <laughs> <laughs> Run D20, that's a Unlike my four. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sword attack. Eleven to hit. Armor again. <laughs> like some strong armor. <laughs> Damn. Seven damage. Shoot. You only roll once to take it. Actually get you? Yeah, it's a five. Ooh. Ooh. Knights are strong. I really thought the opposite. Ow. I did. I knew the elves are squishy, and I figured somebody's gonna one shot him. <laughs> that, that was me. <laughs> all right, Pip. It is all up to you. Oh, well, oh, that oh I get four. He shot that crossbow bolt um, and missed because of oh. the shimmer. <laughs> You're just setting up on the. Alright, move me eight squares closer to the fight. You're just like I don't. Alright. Right. Dang it. Um, actually, I'll ar- activate my targeting system and battle saw because I have a power coupler. Yep. And then I'll run for one square next to the dude on, on that. Right. I'll attack with battle saw because I get that for free. So a dice 10 to hit. Seven. Alright. That hits. With ice 12 damage. Nine. Nine. Nine damage. Blocks three of it. That leaves him with six. Alright, can I get to my. Obadiah, you are first. Um. Oh, oh yeah, I went before. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm halfway up the tunnel. Where is so that gem at? It is right where that blood pile is. Can I pick it up? I was going to take it. Uh, and I get your opportunity. Hands. Actually, I don't because I have all thirty up. They can't get a tax of opportunity. No tax of opportunity. Is it uh? Oh. Is it all covered in blood? It's all covered in blood. Mm-hmm. But you can grab it. That would be an action picking it up. Okay. Um, he doesn't like messes. I suppose burning a component to use my boots of portaling is in action as well. Well, if it is, then you need to be able to attack uh, my first turn. I don't think it's. I don't think, I don't think it is. I think it's part of your movement. Yeah. Okay. So I'll. Uh, so you can't move over one square and grab it and then portal. But okay. You have to grab it and portal next turn. I will just move over one square and grab it. All right. And cast the thing. Uh, we're gonna try. <laughs> uh, that would be a separate action. He yeah. waves it in the air. Doesn't activate it yet. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All clarity shifts over one. 
picks it up and prepares it. Questus. Okay, um, since I'm halfway up the tunnel, yep. and I don't have to worry about those quite yet. Quite yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't say that yet. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to smash him with my face. All right. Uh, 14. 13. Hits. Okay. Um, I was gonna say it's a thirteen. It should hit. <laughs> I'm so to surprised. Use smite to double the damage. Ooh. No, no, every time you use smite, smite though, it's kind of gotten really bad for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna smite okay, him for one day. Oh, Holy Avenger doesn't up the damage. It just ups here. Yeah. Oh, that's two damage, but it gives him bonus power to use smite more often. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's okay. You really think you smite and only got two damage? <laughs> Again, so. for like every time. I'm she just smite it. She all of it. Like, so. little, little, just... Smite! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And they God have mercy on you! <laughs> Pulls out like a little teeny hammer. <laughs> He's actually using a feather duster. <laughs> That is wow. I catch these cute little feathers from the end of my weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna polish his armor for him. <laughs> Stay on. Um, so, um, with Rally, does that mean when, so when it says D4 stamina, that means also, that means D4 vitality, right? D4. Because it says D4 stamina in here. Well, remember you do have an opening from your cannon. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he would, okay. You would get his guy, you can regain D4 health. Oh. I cast, I yell, rally. Ooh. Nice. Fun. All right. And I have a question. Move. When he gets free attack, like, activates for free attacks, does my battle saw count, since it's technically a free action in my turn to use it? Will I get my battle, saw, my battle saw and my normal attacks if he made me attack? Yeah. Yeah, you get a full round of attacks if I, um... Holy... But you have to be to the side of me. Well, uh, if it's activated and it would normally you would get it every round, then yes, but not the super powered. Yeah, I could I could use my uh, fuel to do it. Right, you just get your a regular round yeah. of attacks, but you have to be, be crazy though. You have to be to the side or behind an enemy for me to cast flank. Oh, uh, otherwise, well, technically to the side, but you didn't turn the base. Oh, uh, he's is turning. The base. <laughs> It doesn't really look like it, but he's. Yeah. But I also, I'm um, drawing pistols. Drawing pistols. All right. Their turn. The uh, guard here is going to draw his halberd and swing it right at him. Ten to hit. One to parry. Damage. Nine. Ooh. Good hit. Good. Nice solid blow. Oh wait, I do have shield for advanced. Still hits. Still hits. <laughs> Alright. Movement. Let's see here. Alright. Strike from behind. Oh, I kinda like how you just ignored you there. <laughs> <laughs> 11 to hit. I'm going to use my targeting system to allow me to roll with the base 20. Alright. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm, Alright. That was Perry. His second attack with his blade. What? It's the base 20. He manages to pull a one. Okay. <laughs> so he swings his shield at you and you just deftly mechanic guys your way up to the side, completely confused as to what happened that he stumbles over his own sword. It is now night on Clestus. Oof on. Here comes the shield attack. Four to hit. Nine. And Blade attack. Three. That's six. Yeah. All right. Back in. Piff. All right. I activate jumping jets. 
jump behind the knight that just attacked me. Um, activate battle saw for d4. I four attacks. I do believe jumping you jets provoke really... attacks of or prevent attacks of opportunity. Mm. Since it costs you energy, we'll allow it. It wasn't what I intended it for. <laughs> to jump right up behind the person who's attacking you. <laughs> Alright, so. I have a d4 attacks. Yep. At a dice 10 to hit. <laughs> 3 to hit. 4 to hit. 7 to hit. 7 to hit. You oh, rolled, wait, wait. You rolled dice 4 attacks? Yeah, um. Can I go back like half a second? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I use the ruby ring to swip, swap to the book of necromancy. Cast siphoning strike before I do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How many actions do you got? <laughs> well, the battle saw is free. Oh, your battle saw is free, and your action. And I, my is action is use ruby ring to strike. get my book. Cast siphoning strike. And I actually get a fifth <clears throat> attack because I already activated my battle saw. And that's a ten hit. Okay. So. Oh, he has an opening. Wait. <laughs> 20? Oh. 18? Uh, he's dead. <laughs> well, the 20 is double damage. Yeah, I know. Alright, so. first, first, okay, first, we need to have him do a free attack on you. Why? Casting? Oh, I'm a warlock. Get? Warlock, he doesn't get it. Right. <laughs> so, never you mind. Just die. Um, roll damage for, uh, wait, a 20 to hit. Okay, d14, d16, I'm rolling a d18 for damage. <laughs> Opening uh, jump jets gives me two levels. That's so three additional levels. All right. right. Rest in peace. Twelve. <laughs> is it twelve the double? Oh yeah, twelve's double. So twenty-four. Twenty-four plus eight. That's thirty-two. Um, Hold on, I need to roll armor what? for each one of these. Okay. So your What's first it? attack was what? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. My first attack. Twenty-four. 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 There's no one who... Minus four. Four more. It's what, 19 damage? Yeah, so that puts me at... I have 10 temp HP right now. Can, you, right. can you live long enough for me to get more temp HP off him? <laughs> you can only have as much temp HP as you have. So, in essence... So i 12. <laughs> what you do is you're standing here... What and as he trips, <laughs> he trips because you charge your jump jets. Your fire shoots out in all directions, causing him to be slightly worried. Do this acrobatic flip up into the air, and as you come down, the battle saw... <laughs> and you just literally saw him from top of head straight to... The bottom of the torso. <laughs> and you can just see life force draining out underneath the saw. In the meanwhile, <laughs> sparks and metal chunks fly in every direction as you're Very charged and saw. sawing him right in Holy. half. On his first that was attack. 64 damage. You did that 64 turn. damage in one shot. Then just for fun, you start spitting, kind of like on one foot, a ballerina style. <laughs> With your axe out, just cutting him into pieces, like arm, leg, <laughs> like his two limbs. Pieces. <laughs> this is his last resort. <laughs> and at that point, this guy <laughs> turns and runs. <laughs> He's like, just done. Like, Throws his halberd into the air. He didn't sign up for this. <laughs> that was their leader's head explodes. <laughs> 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 It's gone into little chunks to feed the fish. Just like hear this candy <laughs> bowl feed that explodes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the chainsaw's just <laughs> like, I fucked. I'm not sure even kill the hell. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't believe that. I rolled that yeah, high for my the, all five the, attacks. Oh. My lowest on my D20 was a 13. Nice. Nice. Well, you didn't need more than one attack. You had four additional attacks that you could have used. Well, which I you did used use. on his corpse. Yeah. You, you just got really happy with that corpse and just like, <laughs> your own blood Oh splash. my gosh, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I could see if I was the other guy and be like, you know what? I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I'm not a knight. First of all, I think it's a huge furlong standing here with this mechanical jet blasting shoes. I, I just don't. Oh, but I'm still so lucky. I'll try that chance. <laughs> you grab the crystal, 
you remember the chant because you rolled so well. And sure enough, it begins to flow. And as it does, once again, these things just <laughs> <laughs> it's me like, thank God. MVP, hit an MVP of the fight, picking up the crystal orb. <laughs> 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 I hit him again. Well, well. Might as well smite him. Hits. Smite. Ten damage. Ten oh, damage. Nice. Lots of damage, decent. too. That impact. That is a decent hit. Armor blocks one. And breaks. And breaks down to six. Then his shield blocks three. Does he reroll because of... Uh, Impact. Oh, impact. Three anyways. Uh, resulting in four damage off of it. That's six damage total. Not injured yet. <coughs> this holy evangel thing is not all it's packed up to be. <laughs> if you were using it with a two-handed great axe that does dice fall damage, it could be. Yeah, yeah it could be. I, did, I just didn't have time good. to buy a two-handed <laughs> weapon to pull this fight. Yeah, next time get a two-handed um, great axe. Can, can I just take this opportunity to cast your I just challenge? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I, because, <laughs> see, paladins can be played two different ways. Defensive or offensive. Two-handed great axe with holy symbol of extra damage. Dude. That would make your righteous challenge do a little bit of something. <laughs> you would make his holy adventure do a lot of something. Or, yeah, that's what I meant, holy adventure. But in either case... Day on? Can I see him from here? Uh, unfortunately, he's down the cave slightly, so he is he is in okay. the cave a little bit. Uh, you just let me handle this. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Can I have to move a little bit further? Yep, his turn. Here comes his shield bash. Ten to hit. Oh, one's on the parry. Twenty. Eight to hit with his blade. Three. Ooh, he actually got a hit in. Five damage. Okay, and then Almo. And I'm going to use Almo Righteousness, <laughs> so I can double that one. <laughs> nice. Uh, so eight. Nice. There you go. Piff. Technically, that guy ran this turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to chase him. I'm going to chase him. Well, we don't <laughs> want people to know, like, who we are. All right, let's see how fast he can run. Let me roll it. Let's see if you can catch him. Uh, go on, I'll go help. I still have one fuel. There's no way he gets away. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I get a move. Uh, five for free. 14 with jump jet. <laughs> I want to jump in front of him. With the chainsaw with. spinning. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll make a... Uh, I'll use my ruby ring to get my buckler back out. <laughs> um, and then I will make... Two with my first day attack, and then... A three. He might actually block both of them. Uh, he doesn't have a weapon anymore. Oh, okay, good. So he's going to have to dodge. Seven to dodge the first, first one, one, and five to dodge. Okay, dodge them both. Oh, <laughs> uh, he can move this square too. Oh yeah, dodge. Oh, die! <laughs> oh, <Daya? laughs> Just getting chased by this first hog like <laughs> casting <laughs> token. Clustus. Uh, mace him. What is it? Four. Oh. Four to hit. Yeah. Uh, he parries that and gets a counter attack with his sword. Oh no. One of those times where you can't attack something because you take more damage than you can deal to him. Okay, five hit and I can parry that? Yep. Well. <laughs> ting, ting, ting. <laughs> but I would have taken so much damage though if it wasn't for Holy Eventual. <clears throat> he might have taken a lot of damage. Yeah. These guys are actually fairly decent warriors. So it's probably a good thing I did to uh, carry on. I remove my opening. I move to the opening. Can I see him now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I pull both. I shoot both my pistols. In a cave. Holds <laughs> me. <laughs> You're, You're fine. Both fine. of these are blasting. There's a lot charms. of meat between you and him. A lot meat. of meat and metal. <laughs> and metal. Both of these are blasting charges too. All right. Okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, one. 
one to hit. Yeah. And eight to hit. Alright. Opening uh, back on you? Yeah, I get another opening. So Wait, one where? pistol just six. And he can't dodge, so. So he can't dodge, so that's yeah. um, he's challenged. No, he was still gonna dodge. Yeah, but I rolled an eight anyway. So he's, and he's challenged though. I thought he couldn't move all of the. Oh well, he still would get. No, he doesn't. We said righteous challenge. You don't get anything. We don't get dodge. Mm -hmm. Either way, he's hit. <laughs> he takes a hit. Either well, way, you would take two hits if he couldn't dodge because yeah. the one would technically yeah. still hit him. You, yeah, the one so it's would two still hits. Hit. Yeah. I so guess. and here's another question. So we we talked about last time the blast damage. Because we were talking about how the volley gun would be broken yep. each individual time. So each pistol would count as two separate blasting charges, would it not? Yeah. Because yeah. they're two separate weapons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you get two blasting hits. Seven damage. One damage. And both of them ignore armor, correct? Yes. So that's eight. seven, eight total damage for the pistols, just base. Yep. And then D6 impact uh, damage on both of them. One. Solid. And two. Solid. <laughs> nice rolls. Yeah, that was a fail. Um, and those are impact? Yeah. Roll is it a six round, right? Uh, so, locked one of them completely, and locked them both, actually. But so. he took the damage, so he's in. Yeah. Yes, he took one injury. Boom! Boom! <laughs> uh, blood and metal fly. Almost falls down to one knee. Blood starts coming out of his mouth when he stands back up, sword in hand. His turn. He's still alive. He's still alive. Takes a swing at you. Five to hit. Five dice off. At least you get a keep your dice. Fifteen. Six. All right. Hits for one damage. But this is oh. impact, so roll twice and take the most. Oh, I might have to do all more righteous after I'm just gonna do it. I need to use this in order. <laughs> so that's uh, three, three like, six. Like, keep stabbing her for the back. And that's six. six. Okay. Six, is that dice cam still okay? Yeah. And Good his sword attack. Three. The hit. Ten. Block. Imagine if you had a sword. <laughs> I know. Counter attack. Counter attack. Counter attack. I was planning on buying a great sword, but that oh. didn't happen. A paladin with a great sword would be fairly strong. Yeah. All right. Fifth. Well, oh, does that guy want to run away? Yeah, he's gonna have to try. And Gosh dang it! Just stand still and die already. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, I don't know where you like what I can do. I don't know if I can catch him. Do you have any power left? Mm -mm. I can give you free movement on my turn. Uh, move me nine to where it's closer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, how much do I have to roll for a run? Three. Is it run automatic though? Oh yeah, yeah. run is automatic. I move six closer. Battle saw. <laughs> <laughs> four to hit. Oh, because your battle saw is a free action. Four to hit. An army behind them. Eight. Missed. Alright, you gotta kill him before he gets to this edge. Then he'll be gone. I can give you So this next one. Ah, uh, you probably got one more, maybe some more turns. Alright, Obadiah. It's, I'm guessing you just had it. <laughs> Obadiah is saving the day by doing nothing. Do I have line of sight? Here. No, giant rock in a way, I would say. It's if, a big thing. If I use my portal boots to move 20 squares in a direction, could I have line of sight to there? Probably. The important not. question is would that deactivate? The is it 20 squares or D20 squares? It says uh, 20. Okay. Just curious. Earth. I think it might be a dice 20. Is it a dice 20? You sure, we don't want this guy to go back to the lower shore side and be like, they have your health fire crystal. Is, That's why I've been chasing him down. The thing is, I would be the only one to be able to cash in on what levels in that in that chest. Since no one saw huh? me. That's a flat 20. Oh, okay. Nice. 
I, I wasn't sure. I just figured. Yeah, I, I had to check. I got, got this dice. Portal right here. You got clear line of sight. Wall of force. <clears throat> Three. So <laughs> I would like to surround him. Oh, so he has to turn into me? Like this. <laughs> he has to walk one square next to me to get away. I can move you and he can't. Alright. Yeah. You move one square forward. Yeah, get me to move one square forward. He's trapped. Okay, let's finish this. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to hit him with my mace. Three. Three. I will uh, drop clarity for that move. So, uh, he actually rolled seven, which I meant to oh. say seven, but uh, like counter attack two to hit. Um, don't roll a one, you'll be fine. Six. All right, stay on. Move. I move one square forward. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please, please, no, I surrender! Don't kill me. Am I? He's in... completely at your mercy. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna pull my glaive out. You'd get a dice 20 to hit, is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pull my glaive. Yes. I was standing here with my glaive. Could I technically poke him from where I'm at? Yeah. Okay. So I just pull my glaive. I can't do it now. Alright. Knight's turn. He is surrendering, laying on the ground with his hands up, saying, please do not kill me. Dice. <laughs> 18. I only have so much fuel for this thing. 15 to hit. I can execute him when he takes. Ow. I don't think it's worth executing yet. Ooh. Maybe on future date, but we should get some info. Sacrifice him. Okay. Okay. But we could sacrifice him. Four damage. Take him to the rock. Impact damage. So Just all leave him by the worms. <laughs> oh. All right. See you guys. That worse than that. Take a lot of stuff too. No, you can yeah, be the loudest. We walk around <laughs> with the crystal too. So he actually took one hit point off you. Yeah. Three oh no. Not my ten. Or no, four damage. I need four damage, right? Wait. Either way. Yeah. Four damage. So I lost two. So two hit. damage. Not my temp hit points. Oh. <laughs> Which regain stamina. All right. Could I redo his temp HP? No, I don't. Okay. That'd be dumb. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> broken. <clears throat> he swings with his sword, accidentally hitting the wall. Getting the rock. His sword stuck. The yes! rock, you mean? The rock. Culture class is stuck in the rock. <laughs> the cathedral. It's <laughs> just the rock. He feels yeah. so much at home next to rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like keep the guy here. Okay. Oh, but you want to do anything? I'm gonna start tying him up. All right. Um, I will just start walking back towards the cave, I guess. All right. Clestis. Oh. I can move. There is an opening. So, so you already get the dice 20 hit, yeah. but your damage goes up the dice level. Okay. I can move nine squares back. So four. I can go. You play this there? Yep. Your turn. Okay. So dice 20. Eight. Eight. He gets a reroll from the shield. Eleven. Misses. He attacks. Rolls a one. Gets a. The sword is still stuck! <laughs> he can't get the sword out of the rock! I'm a believer now. <laughs> they are. Oh, this is every fight I, uh, has ever <laughs> been into in a nutshell. Both of them sitting there, God, I can't hit! Oh, shoot, my weapon is stuck! <laughs> this is bad for him, I believe. Well, not for, I mean, for him. Um, so, I yell rally for myself to get rid of my opening so I don't end up like, breaking my own weapon or something. Yep. I'm attacking from behind. Dice 20 to hit. So I'm gonna hit him with my blade. Okay. Uh, I think that's uh, six. six. Okay, so reroll. Still hits. Uh, that is gonna then it's a D10 damage. Eight. Eight. Oh wait, you said it goes up a level? Yeah, Does it go up a level for an opening? Oh. Yeah. Oh, if you, uh, yeah, if you want to utilize the opening. Oh, I should have used that. Yeah, I'll utilize the opening, so that brings it to a D12. Actually, you know what? I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you used the opening, it went to a D12. Yeah. So you got one? Yeah. Is, is it still alive? Yes. He is, because he... He would have killed him, but he decided to use the opening and screwed it up. I should have, I should have just took my back. I rolled an eight. Plus this. 
Wait, no, he gets an attack first. I thought you had you guys. The knight's flings. No. 17 to hit. Blade is made yeah. Oh yeah, it's only attack. I should have stuck with the D. 17 to hit? Yeah. Nine. One damage. Oh no. Although well, it's not going to do any damage, it will incite an armor roll. Okay. Rolling uh, twice, if you get a one, it will damage your armor. This guy's really all about breaking your armor. He doesn't care if he lives or dies, he just wants your armor to Two. Broken. Two? Yeah. Alright, and his sword attack. Eight to hit. Well. Alright. Piff, you still got him. Obadiah, you're probably just wandering back. Yep, yeah, I will. Questus, roll my you get one more shot. <coughs> I can move. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to kill him again. 13 <laughs> squares. <coughs> I'm running back. Why are you running all the way towards us? Come on, Questus. You can actually finish someone. That hits. I'm going to smite him. <laughs> With the last one. Yeah. Clustus, you can kill someone. We believe in you. Eight damage. Ooh. I might get him. Might. It's yeah. it's uh, blunt too, so he gets yeah. to reroll his armor rolls to take the lowest. Mm -hmm. Two blocked from his shield, so he's down to six. Two blocked from his armor, four damage. That's enough to finish him. How do you want to do this? I just, I just. I just continuously bash him until <laughs> he's not moving. The power of Crestus compels you crush his skull against the rock. <laughs> <laughs> against the rock. <laughs> Into his blade that's stuck there. <laughs> All right. So you just smash his head, and the helmet goes flying off. And uh, the forward momentum carries his face right into the rock. And then you smash him a second time. Bare skull. Rock, oh. base, Ooh. creates like a water balloon effect <laughs> of rain. That's a lot of blood spilled on this battle. There were some definite gruesome deaths. I think that we there should make it look like the Hellworms did it. Gruesome deaths. What? I think we should just make it look like the Hellworms did it. <laughs> oh, there's like, there's no body pieces left of one of them. You two, could you uh, do a favor and throw those Hellworms in this large box? Oh, yeah. I have a present for the Lord of Shoreside. Oh, uh, like but doesn't stuff. he also got one of those crystal thingies? What? I'm oh. holding up the glowing crystal rock. Yeah. But he might have more than one. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's only got this one. <laughs> which I now have in my possession. Okay. That you have to give to the guard. Uh, I'm dragging the guard with that I tied up. Alright. You know, that crystal might be worth quite a bit to those. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on the paladin, too, who's been under the canoe, face down for 20 minutes or whatever. Yeah, mostly, yeah, he's, he's all right. <laughs> just, oh, good. just sitting here hearing cannon shots and chainsaws. And, and then you just lift up the canoe, and you're like, hey, hey how are you doing? <laughs> you're hearing lots of screaming. Please don't kill me. <laughs> he's just looking like, what the heck's going on? I'm going to tie the guard then to the canoe and carry the canoe with. All right, uh, you do actually have two horses here, as oh, yeah. well as a horse and a carriage. Can we? Oh, I'll just throw them in the carriage then. Can I keep a horse? I claim a horse as my own. All right, but you gotta pull this guy. But I want the other horse. Yeah, there's two two of the knights' horses, and then the there's horse. an additional draft um, horse pulling the cart. I'm gonna walk down to that treasure chest. Yes. All right. Do we want to bring this back to? Your uh -oh. employer. He said, "Leave it here." Oh. Oh. So I'll get. I'm gonna get one. So there's two horses. Or two three. horses. The knights each had a horse. There's a draft horse. And, there's and then there's a draft with the carriage. I take the other draft horse and I tie my canoe around it and I call it, tell it to stay. <laughs> then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get the go look for the pouch yep. and the body. Yep. Did I find it? Yes, it's right there. All right. And then I'm gonna get the one umbrella you told me to get. The black with the yellow. Yeah. Now we're gonna leave it. the rest of the stuff. Wait, I want to look through the chest first. All right. So, uh, what so happens? Just is umbrellas. The ring allows you to open this chest. Cool. So you put the ring on your finger. That allows you to open the chest. Inside, there's about five different umbrellas. Cool. Thank each God. a different color. One of them happens to be black and yellow. I grab the black and yellow one and I close the chest. All right. All right what what type of weapon does he this told me have? not to touch the rest? <laughs> Oh, so what type of weapon does a knight have? The knights have uh, uh, bastard swords. Ooh. Um, I'll take it. 
All right. Um, Do any of them have a functional shield? Uh, both of them have a functional shield. Would you like to replace your shield? <laughs> or have oh. an extra? What uh, is their they're heavy shield? Heavy shield. Oh. I'll take one. I don't know if I want to. Super slow. Yeah. Super slow. I okay. literally can't move if I equipped it, but I'll still take one. <laughs> um, okay, so then I put my mace in my pack. Oh. It, there's a crossbow around here. Yeah, there is a crossbow. Uh, let's see. Yes, a crossbow and a halberd. What was on the mage looking dude that yeah, really does halberd. not have a head anymore? War well, body, because it just all fell apart. The only thing that he really has on his person is the uh, the necklace. If you remember the circular necklace with the two serpents intertwining the serpent Ooh, dragons. Yeah. The last time you had one of those, you gave it to Leona, and it didn't work well. Could I, I put the, the, the crossbow key. on the horse? Uh, there's a lot of room on the cart. Okay, I put the crossbow on. <laughs> I will grab the serpent necklace. Okay. All right, um, and I'm going to burn a um, uh, chemical agent and throw it into the ether with the rest of my crap. Uh, what's throwing it? What are you throwing into the ether? Uh, the ca- inner chest. necklace. Oh, the necklace. Ether is going chest. To the, yeah. ether the ether chest. All right. Does this knight's horse have like, you know, like knight dresses on the horse, yeah. like to symbolize like they're knights or something? Yeah, you can tell that the horse does have some, I guess, regalia that shows that it's okay. Take that off. <laughs> we don't need them to know that the these... cart also has some as well. This is one um, of the, the we, we, we carts. We ditch the cart eventually. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll ditch the cart. Well, these uh, people's clothing fit me and. Do you want me to keep it possible for you? Could we impersonate the clothing, clothing the cart, has been you know? covered right. completely in blood and guts and brain matter? Oh, I had the crossbow uh, and then you Because lots of brains were uh, blasted <laughs> apart in this fight. The only person whose clothes would work is the guy who didn't actually get hurt, which would be this last guard. Oh, uh, I seem to remember cutting that guy real good when I got when I first jumped now, in. Now, are we going to say half elf? What? Well, what? I initially jumped on that guy and half elfed him. Think. Oh, so he's a little cut. Yeah, he does. He cut off his arm or something. Well, we have a prisoner, and we have another knight who just happens to have a dented helmet and a smashed head. Yeah, I'm just saying. And two gunshot holes in his chest plate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well, that you know, that's a different you know thing oh, happen. We can get info about our raid from our prisoner. When to raid? Right. Where to attack? Well, I mean, we no. got all the hellworms in this box. Wait, that, I mean, if we could sneak in there and just be like, "Whoopsie why do we daisy, to... open it and then walk <laughs> out." Why do we need to raid the castle? Because we have goblins who want to raid something. It's no. been too long. We <laughs> 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 keep promising them we'll raid. The Lord of Solar Shoreside needs a nope. fisting. <laughs> <laughs> but besides the the fisting to give to the uh, good old uh, Lord of Shoreside. We had I think crystal. the goblins only wanted that hell crystal there. Yeah. They don't need to know about this. <laughs> so we should just have them pillage the castle anyway. So no well, that's why that we we're going find... to, un- you know, the goblins will come in, we unleash the hell worms, and then we just kind of leave. Yeah, now, I like your thinking. Wait, wait, now that I mean, they're in the box, do we want to send the crystal to the ether so, they, so no one knows we have it? Can the hell worms break out of the box? I mean, I imagine they put them in the box because... When they don't have the crystal around, they want a protection. Well, I suppose I do have one signal, so in an emergency, I could rip the thing back from the ether and use it. No, I'm just thinking like it's a bad sign if we're going to say we don't have it to have it on us in case we ever get checked. Like, oh, oh, that little thing. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot this, we had that. that. That's nothing. That's that's mama, mother's jewelry. While talking to the goblin army. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Lots of goblins might die in this raid, so yeah, I that's could, less uh, for us to try and. That's have up to, to you. I'm just throwing it out there for a suggestion. I could, I could throw the hellfire crystal into the ether. Oh. But then the uh, things are gonna wake up, and I don't know if they'll bust out of this box. Like I think I gotta keep this thing running until we unload well, it. Then turn, I can turn throw the spell it off. The ether. Right now. Oh, just check it. Yeah. The thing is, some of us are unloaded safely <laughs> in the box. Well, yep. the, the right, problem is. Uh, Drop chant. How do I do that? Um. <laughs> just just put, put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. <laughs> right, you put it on the ground, right. and sure enough. Get your cannon, shoot it the hands. We'll know when the gem's dropped. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll, pick, I'll pick the gem up quickly. Let me, yeah. let me re- replicate the, the wake up, and they start swarming over each other. 
banging into the sides of the box. Now the box is bound with really heavy iron, but the wooden parts of the box are starting to splinter and crack. Yeah, all right, I'll do the champ again. <laughs> it's nice to know, though. Um, um, I'm all for creating chaos, but you're not exactly welcome in town. No, that's why we use the raid to get in. Well, I mean, if we had a proper helmet, I could hide my head entirely, right? Because it's like a closed face. Yes, yeah, so you do have a proper helmet. Uh, um, unfortunately, there is no proper helmet. The, 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 that that knight has an intact helmet, so. Uh, and this, uh, the knight that you captured had his helmet on. Don't you think the knights have very specific helmets that only people would recognize as a knight's helmet? No, in this you still helmet. have a disguise, too. And I have a guard's disguise, which someone could borrow. I would probably need that. <coughs> Does Scott fit into this gar- this knight's uniform that we just connected? But it has your name tag. It's a yeah, perfect fit. Yeah. Alright, we have a perfect fit knight uniform for you. So now you can finally go back into town. <laughs> um, okay. And so, these are the personal knights of the Lord of Shoreside, so I could get this chest all the way to his desk. And then open it. <laughs> Take the crystal. Portal stone. I don't have any. I don't. Have, <laughs> have to run like, really fast. Sir, I have your hellworms. Portal stone. <laughs> okay, but this bastard sword, so I get... Plus one brawling skill if I wield it two handed. Yes, and you get minus one brawling skill if you wield it one handed. You know what? I'm just gonna go two handed now. <laughs> Does it do more damage two handedly? Yeah. yeah, dice it. That tree does the same amount of damage two handed both as one handed. Oh, okay. But you and just did a benefit to hit. Ah. That's not bad though. Yeah. I mean, that'll up your brawling to a dice 12. And then I have a dice 8 damage. Instead of a dice six. But I suppose we should probably interrogate our prisoner to see what they were actually doing here. Where were you bringing the hellworms? I say in as intimidating <laughs> voice as I can, which is probably not very intimidating. I could shoot you out of your yeah, voice. I just said answer a question <laughs> or I start this off. He's like, don't, don't, I'll tell you Follow anything you cannon. want, you savages. <laughs> savages, that's I- fair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did blow your not even gonna deny that no, one. We definitely, we like literally destroyed two corpses. It was like, they were definitely dead. We continued to cut them and shoot them. <laughs> and he bashed one's head against a wall <laughs> and took his soul. Yeah. So it's he kind says, of, I was, "We were bringing them back to the castle for what? The 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 white one, the elf." The one that's no longer in any shape or form. Yes, he was going to experiment on them with that crystal. Oh, that's a shame. He wanted them for some reason. He has a collection of things. Oh, well, he ain't got a collection, but now a collection of a blood. Does the Lord of Sword Shoreside have a crystal like that one? I don't know. Seen? You, you're, you're, I, it's the only one I have seen has been with okay. this, this man's well, just a peon. He, he obviously knows. Not much. Do we have anything else that we need to know for this? I have a present for the Lord of Shoreside. It happens to be in this box. It's a point to the box they brought. He'll stop you, you villain. I say I shall cut your tongue out. I doubt that. (laughs) What what do you want to do? Oh, shoot him out. I'm going to ask him what he knows about Thornak. Uh. Because Thornak's right here. Oh. Uh, if he knows he looks it, over to him. Never seen him before. I have, I have a, hmm. So how big is this guy? How big is my cannon? Would you say <laughs> it's your cannon's Like, could I fit him his... <laughs> no. <laughs> you can cut him up into small pieces and fit him in the cannon. Like, if I chop his legs off... I mean, fit like, his head into the... Why are you guys being... <laughs> we don't need to torture this Instead guy. Of a cannon He's ball. giving us all the info we need. Is, <laughs> Why are we so mean? We I, are I'm the villains so if we start cutting them up and putting them in the <laughs> If we start cutting them up and blasting them to pieces with the You cannon. wonder why he said, you villain, because <laughs> you're cutting people up and putting them in your cannon. <laughs> you know, though, I could send a very strong message out with a cannon. You know. That's <laughs> fucked up. You see, <laughs> put his head inside the cannon. All right, what do you guys want to do? Well, uh, should we uh, go talk tongue. to our goblin army? Um... I need to bring this umbrella we back. We should probably not be in disguise while we meet the goblins. Yeah. 
and then tell them we're going to be in disguise to infiltrate the castle while oh. they run a distraction. Do you guys want to bring my canoe and this new horse he I got? And then I'll go bring the umbrella back. It's our main mission. There, yeah. Yeah. All right. And the body of the child. Oh, yeah, I bring the body of the child well, back, too. Well, here's the thing. What about this guy? Well, what should we do with him? We can't exactly allow this man to go run back into... No, you just keep him with you. Oh, I was going to, like, cut out his tongue and then send him on his way. Why? He could write still. <laughs> chop off his That's hands. the dumbest idea. All right. <laughs> well, fine. I shall cut this man's tongue out, chop off his hands. <laughs> Why are you so savage? <laughs> Let's just keep him with us. <laughs> We might have more questions like an hour from now. But he doesn't have, have hands or a tongue to talk. Well, Tear out his liver. <laughs> this Stop it, my cannon. He, he <laughs> is one extra <laughs> mouth. You can feed this man. Liver. Well, it's it's it a sense. day. We can decide what to do with him after today. <laughs> I just think it's best to put him out of his misery. <laughs> like chopping oh. off his tongue and cutting off his hands? That sounds way more miserable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying, well, if we don't need him, we might as well just... Dispatch him. Hey, just just leave him alone for now. <laughs> if you guys want to execute him, I'm okay with that. But I'm not okay with you guys chopping seven limbs <laughs> off of him and then sending the him The goblins away. might have questions for him. Yeah, maybe they've got good you ones, know, too. I, I say, yeah, I think the goblins would take very nice care of this man. <laughs> That's how they could, uh... They seem them. very reasonable when we talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> they just went once try to roast us. Yeah, they yeah. shot you with an arrow. <clears throat> yeah. Well, twice. You know, I can right. twice. Make sure the, the fires are nice and hot for the boys tonight. So you want to head back to where you were going to meet the goblins? Yeah. Well, I'll head back with the umbrella. And you head back to the umbrella. I have a horse. All right. Is it amazing? Yes. Yeah. I just, I, hey, I got a free you horse. My horse. All right, so horse you're heading back. <laughs> Can't believe no one's falling around an unconscious pause on a canoe. You guys are. I'm not anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> but now we have a horse to ride and carry the canoe. Actually, the two yes, horses. Someone else could take a horse. There's three horses. Yeah. What do you do with the extra two horses? Uh, we'll I'll bring with. Bring well, one's on the canoe. One's on board. the cart that they came in. We got two and horses, horses, and I'm riding one. And you're riding one. And uh, and Scott, you could probably ride the one carrying the canoe if you want. You have the draft horse. I, I'm just walking back to town. I don't want to bring any attention to myself. Yeah. So you're just carrying the body? Yeah. All right. You eventually do come across your goblin pals. You hear a another goblin crossbow quarrel. Well, I miss. <laughs> Why you must shoot arrows every time we come to visit? How oh I'm... my gosh, shoots the paladin. All right. <laughs> Click. The arrow crossbow quarrel. Impacts right into the side of the canoe. <laughs> oh, he's lucky I'm not there. I'm so bad. And that's, of course, your signal that you should stop. They come out to meet you. It's uh, it's LK and and, and, and Burp. Burp. Burp and LK. I, I just I thought it was LK. What time of day is it? It's uh, evening. All right. It's, dark. it's late. Look what we got! We acquired some disguises from the Royal Guard! We don't wear disguises. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we do. We can sneak into the castle while there's a distraction. Ah, oh, yeah, good idea. We are doing the distraction, and you are doing the sneaking. Yeah, it's going to be way more dangerous inside the castle. So. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's huh? going to be more dangerous outside the castle where we're killing everyone. Well, I mean, it is dangerous when you're killing people. You it's dangerous when that people getting killed. True. Dang, anyway, I'm, I'm going to put on this disguise, so don't accidentally attack me. All right. I'll put on the guard disguise. <laughs> Start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guards! <laughs> I say, so what do you guys plan to do for your attack? Where, where do you plan to go in at? We take our blades and we cut the throats of our enemies. Solid plan, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start immediately. Uh, so, so how many? Yeah, how many of them are you? All of them. <laughs> I mean, we're all attacking. We're goblins. What do you <laughs> okay. Think? No one stays. Okay, there's small, small, small group, big group. So is it just <laughs> you two? <laughs> you two or Matt? No, you? Red Face and the entire clan is coming. Got it. Clan. Okay, that that's good. 
Yeah, there were a lot more of them when we initially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they when you encountered them before, there's probably about thirty some of them. That Good. could that could be right. a dent. Um, um, safe travel on your raid then. So, are are you gonna come in with me with the disguise? Yeah, or remind you on a solo mission? Uh, uh, <laughs> a lot of us could sneak in with, but I guess I don't I have a go in. It's still like early <laughs> afternoon. Can I like pass him? No. Well, can I already? We just left in the morning, and we only moved to half. You have your guard up, oh, right? Um, I thought uh, the cave was only like forty-five minutes an hour, outfit, right? Okay, the royal yeah, guard outfit yeah. that fits me, I'm gonna yeah. be wearing. Uh, so can I try and put on his other guard outfit that he has, and maybe roll a crafting to change it? Oh yeah, the guard outfit that you crafted. Yeah. Can I change? Try and change his uh, name. The name really doesn't. <laughs> what if we run into somebody that's like, hey, we're looking for that name. It'll take some while to try and resell the name. How long? Just take the name off. Can I just... But wouldn't that also be suspicious? <laughs> Less suspicious than having Obadiah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay, I quickly just cut off the old name, Pat. All right. Whatever. All right. And I put on that guard outfit. Okay. But how many guards create? That's so... <laughs> all of them. <laughs> they won't notice. Maybe. Okay. All right, what do you guys want to do? Oh, Let's go to the castle! Are you bringing your guard with you? We either. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, should, should burp! And uh, LLK. We have a prisoner that we can't really bring with us. Do you suppose you could lock him up? And not feast on his bones? Oh, okay. Yeah! We can do that! Perfect! I'll hand him over. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your word is as good as truth. Feast! <laughs> feast! <laughs> does, does he have anything you hear to say yelling about feast that? as they run off. Does the prisoner have anything to say about that? Yeah, well, he's that didn't go what? well. <laughs> you know, though. Save me! What are you guys are mad! You're evil villains! <laughs> That's what they're basically saying. You'll be fine! You're in cahoots you... with the goblins! You're, well, you're kind of are. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not even going to deny that. No. <laughs> we are both savages and <laughs> villains. <laughs> like, you, you'll be fine. I hear they they prep good meals over there. The only Start people... the fires! <laughs> I'm sure, I, I just got to keep yelling. Like, I'm sure they're not feasting on you. You're going to be a part well, of I'm the I'm assuming the feast is going to take a while. Well, I hope they don't forget about the assault. Yeah. Uh, no, uh... uh yeah, I had my time wrong. It's actually still early in the morning because you guys woke up and came. Well, there's plenty of time to eat. And so it's actually uh, <laughs> probably it's, afternoon. It's probably right now, right like around lunch lunchtime or right in the afternoon. So uh, the goblins will be able to feast all afternoon and then attack during the night. So and it is going to take you quite some time to walk all the way back to town, deliver your stuff. All right, I'll hide out in the wilderness with the cart and. Um, I'll keep watch over the uh, canoe as well. Could you go into town and get that guard uniform modified to put a different name on it? Me go to town? Well, they're not looking for you. Yeah, but if I just come marching in with a guard uniform when I'm not a human. True. <laughs> <laughs> you could wear the disguise into town, go straight to the tailor, and then have Be like, a I have my name tape scraped off or whatever, and I, suppose, I can go in. If, if we make a stop at the temple, do we do we have enough time to use the altar before the raid? Mm. Do we have time to go buy things? Um, depends what time the raid is. <clears throat> probably in the evening. We I'd said say, at night. I'd say yeah, you probably can. Okay. So I, I go in, I'm going to go try and get the tailor. Alright. Make a cunning roll to see if you can avoid notice. There are quite a few guards Six. walking around. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like run into like the most of them. Well, <clears throat> you walk into town wearing the guard uniform. Strutting like I own the place. Strutting like you own the place. Which he clearly doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> while walking, a young girl comes running up to you, maybe about eight or nine years old. Sir, sir, he just stole something. Come quick. You must arrest him. Hurry. Oh, yes, right away. I shall. Uh, Blast the, she's pointing. <laughs> Blast her with the cannon? No, I mean, not <laughs> lying. 
She's pointing right to someone who you just saw tear. He's running with a bag. He runs right into an alleyway. Well, um, fortunately, I'm off duty. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Well, no, you know what? But for you, Lass, I shall chase this man down. All right. And all I, right. She, I have her go run out of sight and I actually run off in a different direction. Um. How many people are watching me? Uh, there's probably about you know just half a dozen other people around town looking all at you, watching. This okay, I run into the alley. There. They're pointing. Like some of them are pointing. He's right there. Okay, I run into the alley. <laughs> I'm gonna get noticed. All right, you begin running after this guy. Uh, you enter into the alley, and as you do, you see him at the other end of the alley, taking a left, running down an upside alley. I take a right like I lost him. Alright. You, you run down a little bit and you kind of take a right. <laughs> the little girl is like watching at the other end of the alleyway. She didn't um, see where he went, did he? Um, you are pretty sure she didn't. Uh, is anyone else there, though? Um. <clears throat> As you turn right, uh, there is like a drunkard, uh, a homeless guy, sitting on the su- in the alleyway, kind of drinking out of a bottle, and he's like, he kind of looks over at you, and points the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> I drop the guy five gold to tell him to be like, what the heck? You want to go to five gold? The homeless guy pointed out. Hey, you get him an actual alcohol. It's a hell of a bribe. He's like <laughs> one gold probably would have gotten. <laughs> you know what? I just I have gold to spare. <laughs> gold to spare for everybody right. but me. <laughs> so you have successfully avoided arresting the criminal. <laughs> well done. And I make my way back to the tailors. <laughs> and you make your way back to the tailors. Uh, roll again. Oh, see if for notice. Oh, no, apparently I get noticed. <laughs> one. A one. Oh, You're like boy. the most conspicuous looking <laughs> bird. He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got this today, guys. <laughs> Pointing to people and suck. As a guard. <laughs> hey, stop. I'm a guard. What's up? <laughs> Stroke guard! Back. You see me? Guard gardenness! Guard! <laughs> hey, you stop there! Yeah, no <laughs> running! <laughs> Alright, unfortunately you are stopped a second time. By the Can people girl. stop being so needy? Uh, yeah, this time... Uh, what happens is... Uh, an individual comes out of a, out of a, out of a place. Uh, in fact, the place happens to be the none other than the Sailor's Bliss. Oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> and they, they're like, hey, come on in. It's, it's party time. It's another guard. <clears throat> he's off duty. Uh, and I guess he's asking you to join the others that are in there. So there's about four or five other guards. These are probably the, the sketchy guards, dude. Because all the other guards go to the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> they all, they, what do you do? I'll say, I'm still on duty, but here's a couple gold coins for some rounds on me. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going with all the gold? <laughs> I say, buy a couple rounds on me. How meat. are you the richest person? You <laughs> got all seven gold like it's nothing. <laughs> I mean, I got like 58. All right, roll, uh, roll cunning. Roll cunning. One. Five. Mm-hmm. All right, they take the coins and like, wow, thanks. We're not letting you away that easy. Come on in. We're going to show you Maryland, our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> These guys know. <laughs> like, they, like a bunch of them, clop, grab you by the shoulders, Drag you inside, and uh, they introduce you to Marilyn. Now, of course, Marilyn has uh, quite quite a few charms, Two and rounds. some of the gold they use to buy a round of drinks, which they shove directly into your hand and, and, and down your throat. <laughs> and they help you put it down your throat. The other one, gold coin they toss to Marilyn and point to you and say, "That's from him." She then comes over to you 
and Old begins time working time her magic to the <laughs> on you. <laughs> Now you well, need to be roll. like uh, just a really good massage. <laughs> roll your resolve to resist her charmingness. Six. Six. Unless you want to go. I'm a it. man on duty right now. <laughs> I have to get back <laughs> to work. <laughs> Boss right. won't be happy if I'm not if I'm slacking <laughs> on the job. We'll be doing the raid. <laughs> All right, cunning roll to see if anyone can pass out. Recognize. Six. Okay, they let you go. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, after like four ones in a row, six, six. six. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of getting. All right, last chance. One more cunning roll to one, three. There. Oh. All right, you arrive. You arrive. Just kind of like get in here. About damn time, I finally found Miss Taylor. All right, one gold coin to get Taylor. I'm and so rich. Uh, See what you get. I'm just waiting out. for evening. And I so literally I'm, just keep buying I'm my way around town. Devil, so I will. Um, You're crafting a devil. Yes. Right, make your roll. Keep yeah, healing the bad and one gold. Changes bandages or yeah that. Um, <laughs> right to his face every time he's about to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, green. so is it a dice? Okay, what do I roll? It's a dice 14, fourteen with a sixteen reroll. Wait, it's one. You don't have power tools. Yeah, oh, you got power tools. You get one shot then. Yeah. So dice four. And you're making the sh- wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're making Car- a relic? Yeah. Car- oh, wait, you're doing relic at Carpus? No. Nah, I'm not doing Carpus okay. right now. Relic? Yeah. Oh, here it is. What this you got? Is this the right one? Uh, next 14? Yeah. Yeah, that looks oh. cool. No. Oh, this one. My shows are both red. 11. Seven. Got it. You got it. Relic. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easiest one of those <laughs> since time. <laughs> All right, last but not least, I'll bring him his umbrella. You bring him. Wait, wait. First, I the second I get like anywhere close to town, I just kind of lay the body up against a, a <laughs> building where nobody can see me, and then I walk back. Walk All right, into you're town. gonna have to make a cunning roll to see if you can sneak a corpse into town. Well, I, it's like ju- I want to do it like just on the outskirts of town, where like n- somebody might notice it in like an hour or two. So not in town. Not like, in town, but like but where within somebody will like sight it. range of town. Yeah. Where people could be looking out to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. drop a body. Coming body. roll. <laughs> Three. Three. Not but bad. Not in a very cons- inconspicuous spot. Hmm. Nobody says anything. Perfect. Or seems to notice, as far as you can tell. I'm a. Uh, um, Walk away and get, uh, <laughs> uh, look around just to make sure nobody saw me for like 20 minutes. If we were to translate all of the things you are doing right now into real life, <laughs> you guys would be like the, the biggest worst felons. <laughs> FBI's most wanted. <laughs> I'm trying to help so But like the worst criminals that trying to get anywhere. <laughs> like tampering with corpses and. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Umbrella. So I wait 20 minutes, I don't see anybody. Okay. Then I'll walk to the umbrella van and be like, the job's done, body's hidden. <laughs> and here's your umbrella man. <laughs> Alright, Winslow is ecstatic. Oh, well thank you very much. You oh. are certainly a fine young gentleman. I, I got, do you know you know that cave you own? Or Yes. Did you know there's like guards from like the town that go by that cave? Mm. Quite a bit. No one should know about. Well, They're, they definitely I guess knew about it. I did recently tell one of the guards. Uh, 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 did you go down there? Yeah, I mean I had to get to the chest. Oh yeah, I suppose. How how did you deal with the? I did things? the macarena. <laughs> <laughs> I danced, and there was no memorize that I could just walk right by them. So they're still down there. Um, they might have been relocated. <laughs> oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, I did tell some guards that that they were down there, but yeah, that probably wasn't a good idea. The guards weren't very happy that I was down. They told me there. they couldn't do anything about it. Strange. Yeah, they, I think that maybe they were trying to protect people from going down there. Oh, possibly. Yeah. That's awkward, because they specifically told me they would not be doing anything about it, but they must have done something. Yeah, I don't know why. They showed up. I saw a couple. Uh, you know, it wasn't a Do you know deal. their names? I'll go ask them about it. Oh, uh, no, I didn't get them. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm sure I can talk. I, I'll ask around and I'll find out. Yeah, who maybe wait till tomorrow. I don't think they said they wouldn't be back till tomorrow, so it's not strange. worth asking around. Yeah, that is strange. This whole thing is peculiar. Yeah. I mean, yeah well, probably. Why in the world would they go down there in the first place? No idea. Huh. And I've never even seen anything like them before, and suddenly they appear down in my... Oh, well. Oh. I guess it doesn't make any difference. The point is, we've got our umbrellas. Yeah. And I can start selling again. Yeah, so now you'll help me sell my boat? Yes. All right. When, as soon as it is finished, I can sell as many as you need me to. All right. Now, there, I have one last request. Don't be in town tonight. <laughs> He's like, no particular reason. I just, you know, those guards said some stuff might be going down. They heard rumors, oh. and that's why they're staying out by the cave because they didn't want to, you know, get caught up in that stuff. Okay, well I'll be gone. Okay, good. Thank you for the warning. Yep. Strange again. Very oh, very strange. <laughs> but, you know, um, all right. I will go back and meet my. <clears throat> all right. Friend. So at this point. It's late at night. You all arrive back together, preparing to enter back into the castle. We will do the raid on the castle next week. So at this point, I think we will end and break, unless there's anything that you want to do absolutely before we stop. Nope. I think no. raid's a good place to start yep. next week. Sounds good. All right. So thank you all for watching. And uh, I guess... We'll see you next week. <laughs> to unleash doom upon our doomed enemies. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. Not for them. <laughs> <laughs>